Alright guys, Matteo here, back with the new Blackmagic 6K full frame. We're gonna feel the sun going down, so it's a beautiful light right now, kind of golden hour. And then we're gonna move close to the bridge and we're gonna film a little bit of low light stuff too because again, I wanna show you what this camera can do in low light, it's pretty special. Alright guys, still rolling at 36p. I checked out some footage today when I went home. It's gonna give us a little bit more time to play with the clips. Uh, the action is gonna be a little bit more, uh, you know, like kind of commercial style, kind of beauty shots, fashion film, because I shot everything at 24, so I wanna try some little slow-mo at 36. gonna swap to 90 mil we're gonna try to catch some tight shot maybe of the city a little bit of the landscape the sun going down maybe some plane landing let's see here if we can grab a nice close-up of green on a 90 mil handle so that's what full frame allows you to do shooting handle at 90 mil I have the motion sensor calibrated here so hopefully we're gonna be able to stabilize it pretty well in post my Leica are they're pretty you know, famous to be for that bokeh and for that separation, for that 3D pop. On the full frame, they're really expressing themselves to the maximum, I believe. Guys, this is looking sick. Okay guys, I'm actually embracing the 90 mil handle on this camera. I think I got some pretty cool shots. I have no clue what's going on in Lisbon today guys, but after one hour drive, one hour for five kilometers, we made it here. Thankfully it's dark, so we can do some low light testing. I'm shooting at 12.50 right now, but I under some of these lights, if you're, you know, framing a subject, I also go down to ISO 800, sometimes 640, because there's so much light coming into the sensor. I'm shooting on a 35 mil f2. Now I'm at 24p, 1250, 4000 Kelvin. Let's see what we can capture. For example, here I'm at ISO 800, and I still think it's too bright. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit lower. And uh, what I really, really love about the Blackmagic cameras in general compared to all the other mirrorless I tried is how they manage the mixed color temperature. So in this case, we have some yellowish, then some blue, then some green, and it's always managed incredibly well, and it looks beautiful. Let's, let's check it out, the close-up. So check out the full color on her face, guys. This is ISO 400. F2, of course the blacks are gonna be blacks, guys. It's night, but look how gorgeous this frame looks like. Again, guys, even in the close-up, okay, it's dark. The sky is black for sure. But look at the light on her face. This is just a street light, you know? The bokeh in the background is perfectly lit. Of course the roof of the, of the house is gonna be dark, but guys, it's night.
up for the ISO 1250, 24B. Looks great. is definitely super super clean and 1600 is pretty clean at 2000 and 3200 like the old pocket 6k and pocket 6k pro it still gets a little bit noisy but guys it's pitch black this bridge it seems like it has lights but it doesn't have a lot of light they're really really deep down people like shooting at 128,000 or so and they're like because they want to see in the dark you have to keep in mind also that's not natural so what my eyes see is pitch black. The camera see a little bit more, but I'm pretty happy with what I got. I think Karina deserve a nice steak and a bottle of wine. See, there is some noise in ISO 2000, but I think you can also get rid of it uh, pretty easily with some noise reduction. We're gonna test it out. Right. 90 mil handle, looking great, guys. Pulling focus with my hand. Okay, guys, so this is the wrap on this uh, ends on with the new Blackmagic 6K camera full frame uh, sorry for the noise but guys Lisbon is a mess there's a train the bridge just keeps like anyway just a quick recap for today guys we shot in the morning we shot a sunset we shot at night and in every single situation I was extremely happy with what I got I already checked some low light footage yesterday so I know it's pretty good and I was really happy with what I was seeing in the monitor definitely interesting being able to use a 90 mil handle of course guys now that you're gonna go around and feel someone handle with a 90 mil but if you're a little bit trained and if you're a good operator i think it's manageable to capture some shot handle maybe you're going to stabilize some for sure but overall i was really really happy let me know what you think in the comments i think it's pretty impressive what this full frame sensor is able to do also super happy with a 36 frame per second in 6k open gate i didn't expect it to be that nice but it's a little slow and it works quite well it's been a real pleasure I want to thank you Blackmagic again for sending the camera they didn't sponsor the video they didn't pay me to say anything these are still my honest opinion so stay tuned guys subscribe to the channel because there's going to be a lot of content coming out thanks for watching see you the next one